one of the things that uh, General Danjuma said in that speech is for Nigerians to defend themselves. So the question would be, is it within the ambit of the law for a citizen of the country to defend himself or herself when the life is under threat? There's absolutely nothing wrong with you defending yourself in line with the law. And I, I would say to, to, you know, to our viewers that I am, the, the, the security services in the country would probably not be telling Nigerians to do nothing when they come under attack. The point we're making is that it is a different thing to say, no, the army, the police and the air force and all of them who have been there as institutions of the state, who are there to protect the citizens of the country. Somebody decides to say they are your enemy, they are colored, they are partisan. Now, so what do you want to see happen? That ordinary citizens now, now if, if they are farmers and they're being attacked by herdsmen and the police come, that shoot all of them. Had the, the, the herdsmen, the police, and everyone who's, no, that, that, that's really taking it too far. And this is the, why there is a huge concern about this leading to anarchy and the destruction of democratic structures in the country. That should not be acceptable to any administration. Mr. Shewu, if the presidency is concerned by the statements and utterances of some of these people, the question would be, what are the urgent steps that the presidency are taking to make sure that uh, uh, the trend that some of these people have complained about do not continue? For example, the accusation, allegations against the military. Well, I, I have heard the military say that uh, once in a while, they, they get objections, they get reports of breaches here and there. And for the records, in the case of Taraba, they said they had received none. So the thing then is that it, it, the military itself is a self-cleansing institution. They have their own structures for detecting breaches and dealing with them in lines with the, with the law as established, as that has established uh, those uh, institutions. So they are dealing with that, but the government cannot, 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 cannot uh, on a whole scale be accused of being part of all of these things, or that the, the government of Nigeria is sponsoring. That, that really is, uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, is not fair and, 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 and that amounts to undermining you know, the institution of the state. Let me quickly take you to one uh, issue that's come up. Last week on this program, we discussed the issues relating to Cambridge Analytica, a firm that has been linked to uh, a possible uh, manipulation of the 2015 general election. We understand now information getting to us that there might be some probe into that incident. What exactly can you tell us on that? I have I've not officially been briefed on this, but I've also heard it that it is going on. And I think that it is a welcome development considering that, uh, you know, President Muhammadu Buhari has sworn to one thing, which is that, that, that he wants to improve on the, on the electoral processes that brought him to the office. That the legacy he wants to leave behind is one that improves on what he has inherited. So in a situation where and fair practices are put in place, uh, people's, uh, people's records are being hacked into, data being stolen, and is used to win elections. I think that for the benefit of the country and the betterment of the electoral process, somebody needs to look into all of that and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and deal with it. I mean, because, uh, so the issues of uh, uh, election funding and how much was spent in the election, uh, has come up over and over again, especially when uh, your party, the APC, had come up to say uh, the release of those who uh, sucked Nigeria dry and its coffers, monies were stolen in the past government. So, uh, well, uh, INEC has not told us whether or not even your party had come out with the details of how much was spent uh, during the campaign, uh, can the presidency also uh, boldly say that this is the amount that was spent uh, on the election we were involved in? 
I, I think you are dealing with a situation in which uh, one of the opposition political parties, the PDP in this particular instance, is just trying to model up things. Look, here is a situation in, in which you are accused of, of sucking the economy dry. You have stolen me money in trillions of naira. And this is being investigated. So the question to you is, why is that money? And instead of you responding and giving an answer in the circumstance, what they're trying to say to Nigerians that, no, it, it is, this is normative, that it is normal that people will steal. After all, you people also did it. So there is nothing wrong in doing that. Nothing justified that kind of callousness. It's not acceptable at all. I mean, Mr. Ashawa, I'm saying that would the president be willing to release the details of uh, the money spent, uh, the expense uh, of uh, the presidential election that brought the president into power, perhaps to clear the air? It is of, this, is a, this is a matter that is of interest to the National Electoral Commission. Under our laws, the INEC keeps an oversight on election expenditure. My sense is that they had seen nothing wrong in all of the money that was put together to bring President Muhammad Buhari to office. If they did, they would have blown the whistle. Madam Garbashew, Senior Special Assistant to the President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity. Always a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you for your time on the program today.